What's up guys, Wade here. Um, got a lot to talk about in this video, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, first off, iTunes 9 update was just released by Apple a few days ago. This update adds iPhone 4 and iOS 4 support, but unfortunately, this update breaks the Spirit jailbreak. Now, if you've already jailbroken using Spirit, um, you're fine. It won't really affect you. But if you have not jailbroken with Spirit, or if you restore and try to a fresh jailbreak, um, and you're running iTunes 9.2, you won't be able to jailbreak with this version of Spirit until an update is released. Um, if you do end up jailbreaking with Spirit on accident and you update it to 9.2, um, your device will be put in an infinite boot loop and uh, it just won't be very fun for you at all. Um, of course, if you still want to jailbreak, there are options. Um, you can still use Pwnage Tool or Red Snow. Um, these will work with iTunes 9.2. So the next thing I want to mention is Red Snow Beta has been updated. Um, this update affects the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Um, this update is for the 4.0 Beta 1, Beta 4, and GM. Um, and what's cool about this jailbreak is that multitasking and home screen wallpapers um, can be enabled um, right from the jailbreak. So as soon as you jailbreak, you'll be able to have multitasking and wallpaper. Um, as you guys know, Apple did not allow uh, multitasking and the wallpaper to be on the 2G and 3G, so this sort of eliminates the hassle of having to go in and SSH it and edit those files. You can just do it right um, from the jailbreak. And of course, this is not an unlock, so um, if you rely on a carrier unlock, if you're running Verizon or T-Mobile or O2 or whatever, um, and uh, your device is unlocked, you should stay clear of this because it does break the unlock and uh, you won't be able to um, unlock your phone again until a, an official 4.0 um, unlock was released. So another thing I just want to mention really fast is that Ultra Snow 0921 has been released. Um, it's not a huge release um, and it really only affects a small number of people, um, but it is an unlock for iOS 4 GM, but only if you are on the 042608 baseband. Um, if you're not sure what baseband you're on, just stay clear of it and wait for a 4.0 unlock. Um, but if you do know that you are on 042608 baseband, then feel free to test this out. One last thing I just want to mention is that um, recently um, there's been some jailbreak and unlock tools that have not officially been released by the dev team or GeoHot or any of those guys, um, but have been ported over or edited by a few individuals. Um, like MSFT guy here who ported a couple of versions of Black Snow to um, unlock 4.0 um, on the 3GS. Um, you should really try and stay clear from unofficial jailbreaks or ported jailbreaks or anything like that or ported unlocks um, because it's really an unknown what's going to happen to your device if an update does come along in the future and you need to restore. Um, if you want to look into this guy's work, um, then you're more than welcome to. I'll have a few links down there in the underbar, but um, I really do advise you to stay clear um, for right now and just wait for some um, official releases and uh, some more information on that. So there you go. Um, a lot of information, but a lot of things have been happening the past few weeks that I just wanted to get out there so you all know what's up. Um, if you want to keep up to date with all the upcoming unlocks and jailbreaks and all the 4.0 news, um, I'll have some links to some sites and to some people who are always on top of things like GeoHot, and I Hate Snow, um, Muscle Nerd, D7, and the iPhone dev team, and a few more. Um, as always, if you have any questions, be sure to post a comment or send me a message. I will do my best to help you out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.